Warren Buffett, CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, has been vocally against investing in gold because it's, quote, an unproductive asset. Buffett points out that when you own a stock, you have ownership in a company which generates cash flows and can pay dividends to its shareholders. The business grows and adapts and can use its assets to pursue new business opportunities and generate new cash flows that it can return to its investors. The business is constantly evolving and is productive with its resources. In contrast, he talks about gold in a 2011 letter to shareholders, saying, a quote, major category of investments involves assets that will never produce anything, but that are purchased in the buyer's hope that someone else, who also knows that the assets will be forever unproductive, will pay more for them in the future. Tulips, of all things, briefly became a favorite of such buyers in the 17th century. This type of investment requires an expanding pool of buyers, who, in turn, are enticed because they believe the buying pool will expand still further. Owners are not inspired by what the asset itself can produce. It will remain lifeless forever, but rather by the belief that others will desire it even more avidly in the future. The major asset in this category is gold, currently a huge favorite of investors who fear almost all other assets, especially paper money, of whose value, as noted, they are right to be fearful. Gold, however, has two significant shortcomings, being neither of much use nor procreative. True, gold has some industrial and decorative utility, but the demand for these purposes is both limited and incapable of soaking up new production. Meanwhile, if you own one ounce of gold for an eternity, you will still own one ounce at its end. End quote. Warren Buffett further illustrates his point on gold by comparing the opportunity cost of owning gold versus other productive assets. In the 2011 shareholder letter, he continues by saying, quote, Today, the world's gold stock is about 170,000 metric tons. If all of this gold were melded together, it would form a cube of about 68 feet per side. Picture it fitting comfortably within a baseball infield. At $1,750 per ounce, gold's price as I write this, its value would be $9.6 trillion. Call this cube Pile A. Let's now create a pile B costing an equal amount. For that, we could buy all U.S. cropland, 400 million acres, with output of about $200 billion annually, plus 16 Exxon Mobiles, the world's most profitable company, one earning more than $40 billion annually. After these purchases, we would have about $1 trillion left over for walking around money. No sense feeling strapped after this buying binge. Can you imagine an investor with $9.6 trillion selecting pile A over pile B? Beyond the staggering valuation given the existing stock of gold, current prices make today's annual production of gold command about $160 billion. Buyers, whether jewelry and industrial users, frightened individuals, or speculators, must continually absorb this additional supply to merely maintain an equilibrium at present prices. A century from now, the 400 million acres of farmland will produce staggering amounts of corn, wheat, cotton, and other crops, and will continue to produce that valuable bounty, whatever the currency may be. ExxonMobil will probably have delivered trillions of dollars in dividends to its owners and will also hold assets worth many more trillions. And remember, you get 16 Exxons. The 170,000 tons of gold will be unchanged in size and still incapable of producing anything. You can fondle the cube, but it will not respond. Admittedly, when people a century from now are fearful, 
it's likely many will still rush to gold. I'm confident, however, that the $9.6 trillion current valuation of Pile A will compound over the century at a rate far inferior to that achieved by Pile B. End quote. Buffett later illustrated this point more in a CNBC interview when asked about where he thought gold prices were headed by saying, quote, I have no views as to where it will be, but the one thing I can tell you is it won't do anything between now and then except look at you. Whereas, you know, Coca-Cola will be making money, and I think Wells Fargo will be making a lot of money, and there will be a lot, and it's a lot, it's a lot better to have a goose that keeps laying eggs than a goose that just sits there and eats insurance and storage and a few things like that. End quote. What do you think about Warren Buffett's approach to gold? Do you agree with him that the opportunity cost of gold as an investment is too high compared to owning productive assets like stocks? Or do you think gold should be part of an investment portfolio? Let me know in the comments below what you think, and be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more finance content. Thanks.